Hey guys, Insta Dev here, and today I'm gonna be showing you why I really love the the Burst Fire SMG. I'm playing some Black Eye Retribution, but before we continue, let's start with the intro. Okay, so before we start, I just want to tell you this is my most bloodiest and most action-paced match I've ever played in Blackout Attribution on both of my accounts. Because why? The game started off as the teams spawned right next to each other, explosions everywhere, chaos everywhere, and I literally had to reload twice within 30 seconds. So that means I was in a lot of combat. So, anyway, that was so wasted. Basically, what I did was. I just hopped on Blackout Attribution, this is my first ever game I played because I haven't been on online for a long while I just came online and my weapon has expired, my SMG with the ACOG site so what I did was I went on the customization and the first two guns I see no, the first two guns I normally see was the assault rifle and the SMG but this time I only see the, the assault rifle and the burst fire SMG rifle. I was like, whoa, whoa. No, then it said equip. So then I'm like, whoa. Wait, wait. I'm just like, whoa. And I was like, I was like, I have, although I have a lot of GP, I was like, mm, I don't really want to spend my GP. I just like having a lot of GP on my GP list because like, if any challenges or any sniping matches or anything that comes up, I can use them instantly. So I like to save up. So what I did was I. Equipped it and I bought one attachment. So I'm gonna show you what that one attachment you need to buy to make this weapon flawlessly good. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. so what you want to do is you want to find the weapon, go to the muzzles, go to arm com power muzzle, buy that weapon, buy that muzzle. Sorry, I don't really recommend you to use the iron sights unless you're really accurate at medium to long ranges. If you're not, I recommend you to use a sight like a holographic sight and ACOG thermal or even a sniping one trust me it's all the snipes are really good for this if you can use it right if you like the camp i would recommend the acog or the sniper or even a thermal if you like the running gun i recommend a red dot sight because when you're aiming down the side you can see a lot a lot around you and if you're not really if you're if you are not really that good with the iron sight or the red dot sight you can try and use the holographic sight because that gives you a lot more um, it, it, like it helps you aim a lot more, it like, like, you know, releases the tension, if you, if you know what I'm saying, if you know, if you use both of them, you'll understand what I'm trying to say, so anyways, this is all I have to say, oh wait, 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 wait. there's one good thing about the power mode, even though it rec even though it increases the, the, um, side to side recoil and the sum of the recoil, it also change, it also gets, gets rid of the, um, it also gets rid of the flash, and it makes the sound, it makes it changes the sound as well. That's why this gun sounds really, really odd. But the gun sounds really, really cool if you have the power muzzle on the SMG, a tactical SMG, or the heavier assault rifle. So, so yeah, burp there. So, anyways, I'm I'm gonna be playing some cool, cool, mu cool music for the rest of the game to show you how it went out through. So, anyways. If you don't, if you don't know why I don't do live commentaries, is because I'm not really good at them. If you watch my early Black Hat Attribution videos, you will understand why I do not do live commentary. So I just play cool music and just play it through the whole uh, map, the game, the video, whatever you want to say, and just you know, if you know what I'm saying, make it play to the end, and then boom, the video's done. You might think I'm lazy, but I, I, I really, I really try to practice live commentaries, but I'm not the guy to do live commentaries. So what I do is, I just play music. I'm not lazy. You know, I, do, I do a lot of hard, I do a lot of work. I make, I even, though I don't write a script, but I actually, you know, plan a few words. You know, what I'm gonna say, make, put a bunch of clips together. I'm just that guy. If if I make a script, I'm still gonna be starring. A lot more often so what I do is I write some words down on the paper I write the keywords down or sometimes I just remember it and just add them in together as I speak so anyways guys thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video peace